Mike, everybody, give it up for the band. Louis Cato and everybody in Stay Human right over there. Louis, as if I have to ask, you know, I always enjoy doing the show. I always love listening to y'all. But tonight, yeah, you don't have to tell me who's there. I want you to do. We're in the presence of greatness. Tell everybody who is joining the band tonight. My goodness gracious, my dear friend, Rachel Price. Thank you. The golden voice. Rachel, thank you for being here. I'm so happy to be here. It makes me so happy. I've, we, we had you guys back on. Of course, I know you originally from Lake Street Dive. You, we had you guys on the old show. We've had you on many times. Mm -hmm. You all have a new album coming out in September right here. Yeah, it's called yes. Fun Machine, the sequel. Right there, coming out September 9th. Check it out. Check it out. You can pre-order now. Can we pre-order now? Yeah. Sure, we can pre-order now. And also, also coming up a little bit later in the show, uh, Ice T yeah. is going to be out here a little bit later. He's going to keep it real. <laughs> going to keep it real. <laughs> and uh, the author Michael Pollan are going to be here. So stick around for that, y'all. Thank you again, Rachel. Thank you. Folks, you know I love keeping up on all the hottest fads of today. I'm so hip, my doctor tells me I might need a replacement. But there's a new trend sweeping the younglings. I'm going to tell you all about it in my trend segment. Stephen Colbert presents That's Yeet Dabbing on Fleek, fam. <laughs> Evidently, the hot new trend for young people is acting like old people because the latest fashion slash lifestyle craze sweeping TikTok is something called Coastal Grandmother Aesthetic. Apparently, coastal grandmother aesthetic includes things like wearing loose, breathable fabrics, drinking a Sauvignon Blanc, shelling peas on a chaise lounge, and is inspired by the perennially summertime lifestyle of a beautiful older woman in a Nancy Myers movie. <laughs> but if coastal grandmother isn't your style, there's another hot, mature trend making the waves called fancy grandma. <laughs> fancy grandmas are more eccentric. They have tchotchkes. They stockpile snacks and religiously watch a TV show they call My Show. <laughs> By which... There you go. By which they don't mean My Show, although I've looked at CBS's demographics, and I'm pretty sure they mean My Show. <laughs> Fashion-wise. Fashion-wise, fancy grandma style leans toward matching sets and an elaborate pair of earrings inspired by the Golden Girls and Yetta from The Nanny. And if you don't remember, this is Yetta from The Nanny. So, fancy grandma is less Eileen Fisher and more if a slot machine became a person. These new grandma trends might be why, instead of going out to nightclubs, many young people say they'd rather play shuffleboard. Wow. Times have changed. Back when I was young, the hot thing was going dancing and doing cocaine and having sex and not inviting me. <laughs> now, I don't understand... I don't understand why the younger generation is making this choice, but luckily, I have a writer who is all up on youth culture and has assured me that she has fully embraced the geriatric trend. So here to talk about how young people are dressing like old people is my writer and board-certified young person, Eliana Cortler, everybody. Eliana! <laughs> Hi, Eliana. Hi, Steve. <laughs> so, uh, Eliana, what's, uh... What's going on here? You said you wanted me to come on to talk about how young people are dressing like old people. Okay. okay. Yeah, but you're but you're dressed like me. Oh, am I? So Yes, you look like I had a child with Rachel Maddow, which <laughs> is which is unlikely for a number of reasons. But <laughs> what happened to Coastal Grandmother and Fancy Grandma? Oh, my God, no, Steve. Those grandmas are dead. I mean, passe. They're not dead. They're fine. Oh. 
the hot new trend today's yeah. coolest kids are losing their decorative little gourds over is Colbert Grandma. No, it's not. <laughs> oh, yes, it is, Gam Gam. Colbert Grandma is everything. Mm -hmm. It's glasses. It's doing this with your tie. <laughs> it's, it's talking about South Carolina. <laughs> It's having an app on your phone that tracks big boats. It's asking me if I've heard this obscure quote from a dead Irish poet. I mean, if you love this Joyce lady so much, why didn't you marry her? James Joyce is a man. Oh my God. Okay, that is classic Colbert grandma. James Joyce is a man. Eliana, Eliana, look. I'm 58. I'm relatively young. I know what a Dua Lipa is. I am not, I am not. Do you hear me? I am not a grandma. Okay, yes, you are right. I'm sorry. Hey, Steve. I'm yeah. um, just curious. What did you do this weekend? What did I do this weekend? Um, uh, oh, oh, okay, this is fun. I candied tangerine rhymes. Oh. <laughs> Fun. Then, okay, then, then I took, then I took some of them, then I took some of them to the neighbors, but I told them I need the Tupperware back when they're done. Oh my God, I am a grandma. <laughs> when did this happen? It's okay, Nana. Here. <laughs> Have a hard candy. Ooh, butterscotch. Young person, Eliana Quartler, everybody. We'll be right back with Ice-T.